devastation among the hop fields of Kent. Only after the fog had cleared could we see the full extent of the chaos at Marden, and then we could only speculate about the cause. How could the crew of the express from Charing Cross have failed to receive the red warning that a parcels train was ahead of them? This is a 90 mile an hour high speed section and the system of signalling lights is intended to give faster but safer services in foggy conditions. In all this welter of torn carriages and twisted rails, it seems incredible that only five people lost their lives. And incredible that anyone survived this terrible air crash at Gatwick. In fact, 15 people lived through it including the captain and two of the crew. This had been the four-bedroomed house in which Mr. and Mrs. William Jones were killed. The Boeing 727 broke through the fog curtain at Gatwick, broke off a treetop, skimmed a roof, plowed across fields and exploded as it hit the house. Fifty lives were lost but the pilot is among the survivors. He since stated that the aircraft unaccountably lost height on the approach. Only the black box flight recorder can give an accurate record of those last moments, but already we did know that in this Holocaust, a 16-month-old baby, Beverly, the child of Mr. and Mrs. Jones, had survived. We can only hope that she's young enough to remember nothing of her terrible experience. Quite an experience for Tommy Doherty 